There we go. Perfect. You ready? I'm Shelly. I'm here at the Garden of Eden, living and loving the life of ease and comfort and enjoyment. The beautiful people love and care about each other. I've been a shepherdess to this land for about 17 years. And it's transformed into a beautiful... Stay here. Yeah. Stay here. You want to sit here? Oh, okay. The Garden of Eden has transformed into a beautiful community where people come from all over the world to find out about sustainability and what we have to share in abundance. And there's so much here to offer, so much to share. We have an opportunity, um, not only just because we exist here in the Garden of Eden, but because of this raid has given us the opportunity to really be able to share with the people and to reach out. People from all over the world are listening and watching and asking that we hold these people accountable for what has happened. Because this hasn't just happened to us. This is something that's happening all over the world. Not only, yeah, not only is it happening, here we go. Not only is it happening with us, and not only has it happened to us, it has happened to everyone, but it's also happened for us. Which is giving us the opportunity to shine this light on the situation and to be able to take a deeper look at what's really going on in the government, what's really going on in our lives. Giving us an opportunity to really, really stand up for what we believe in, to stand up for our rights, our God-given rights, and to be able to hold them accountable for their actions. Whoops. And to have personal responsibility for everything that we participate in. And give them the opportunity also to stand up and know that they are participating in a system that isn't serving the people. They're here to serve and protect the people, not to, to harm them in any way. We live by the golden rule, do no harm. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And if we all existed in that realm, life would be a really beautiful life. One of the most difficult parts of this raid for me was when Anouk came downstairs without her children. And we were all sitting there handcuffed already with guns in our faces. And she, she came downstairs without her children. And my heart sank to believe that they were without their mother, just to wonder where in the world were they. At the Garden of Eden, we hold space for the children, a place where they can live and grow and be honored to follow their own path and their own divine beingness. And give them an opportunity to live without conditioning, without all of our ideas. We're holding space for the children to live fully in their full power, to live unencumbered by the ideas of society and our own ideas and our own jaded assumptions of what life is supposed to be. So we hold an opportunity for them to live and to thrive and to show those people who, who are interested to come and see that we all have this opportunity to live free and in abundance and without jobs, going to work with things we don't want to do, getting up every morning when we don't want to get up, to truly just tune in to a very powerful and awesome life, having the most, most amazing experience on this planet that we can possibly have, to live with people that we love, have the most healthy and abundant food available, which we make from trash, things that are already available, have an opportunity to share it with those who, who are interested, who come through. So we really want to hold these people accountable. We want to be able to make a new world. We want to be the change we want to see in the world. Let's be the change we want to see in the world. Let's stand up and make our voices be heard. There were so many things wrong about this raid. Um, from the very beginning, these were issues that never needed to be. From the very beginning, these were issues that never needed to be, you know, addressed in this way. We have an opportunity to speak with each other, to communicate with each other, to communicate with our neighbors, to communicate with our community, you know, to answer questions, and to be there to share with each other. And the city of Arlington could come and say, "Hey, there's a lot going on there. How can we help?" 
What can we do to help you? Or we can help and be part of a community where we can be in peace and harmony and be beneficial to each other in everything we do. Opportunity to rethink our communication skills and to rethink the way that we address each other and the way that we participate in our lives. This is an opportunity much grander than most people have ever seen. We're excited. We're excited to be able to really express what it is that we feel is of most importance to live true, honorable, and live by the golden rule.